de Fleury. The last week of Lent is known as Holy Week and begins with Palm Sunday, the last Sunday before Easter, where the triumphant arrival of Jesus Christ to Jerusalem is commemorated amidst praise and beating of palms by some and even others putting palms at his feet to pay tribute to him. Palm Sunday was the first day of Holy Week prior to the Jewish holiday of Passover. Jesus rode a donkey through the city of Jerusalem on his way to conquer death and bring us life through his sacrifice on the cross. Palm Sunday represents the victory we have in Christ. A palm branch is a symbol of triumph, a banner of peace, and a physical representation of surrender to King Jesus as Lord. It is not a command that we raise a palm branch in worship to the Lord, but it is a great delight to join those who many years ago shouted, Hosanna! There is power in knowing that the same Jesus they celebrated in the streets is the same Jesus we celebrate today. They may have been dressed in capes and we in blue jeans, but the tradition of preparing the way for our King still remains. On Palm Sunday, palms are blessed at the beginning of Mass. Many Christians transform their palms into some small crosses. Since the palms are blessed, they cannot simply be thrown away as trash. In fact, sometimes churches collect palms and incinerate them. The resulting ashes are then used to create the ashes to be used on Ash Wednesday, which marks the beginning of Lent. If returning the palms to the church is not feasible, they can be buried. Palm Sunday is a suitable day to honor Jesus as King over all and to meditate on the week of his great sacrifice. We couldn't have the empty tomb if we didn't have the cross, and we couldn't have the cross if Jesus didn't willingly go to in obedience to the Father. Palm Sunday, in essence, is Jesus' act of obedience of going to the place where he would be our slain lamb to defeat sin and grant us his victory and peace. Jesus went with honors on his way to die. When the people shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, they were hailing Christ as King. Hosanna actually means save now. And although in their minds they expected the, the Christ, another king, an earthly king, God had different way in mind to bring true salvation to all who trust him. The triumphal entry was a harbinger of the victorious resurrection. These events can even prepare our hearts now for the day when Christ returns. The triumphal entry is included in all four Gospels. In chapter 12, in John says, Then they took palm branches and went out to meet him, crying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. That is why, When we enter a religious service and palm branches are waved, we remember the great sacrifice that Jesus made and the obedience he had to the Father. May we gather our branches and hold them in the air with pride, knowing that we share in his victory. And may the movement of our palms move our hearts to prepare for Easter, for the moment when Jesus conquers death and is resurrected by his own power, because he is God and with God we always win.